An increasing number of students are applying for pre-med degrees in the US. So in today's video, we're going to cover some of the most sought after extracurricular activities that you should have on your profile if your goal is to pursue the long-term path of becoming a doctor in the US. Now, if you want me to do a similar video for a different major, put that in the comments below and we'll get that out as well. Just to be clear before we begin, the pre-med requirement or pre-med degree in the US is a four-year undergraduate degree, which is required before you can actually start your medical degree, also known as the MD. Now, this requirement of the pre-med degree includes majors like biology, biomedical science, and a few others. So after you've actually enrolled in these specific majors, you have to satisfy certain prerequisites in order to be eligible to then apply for the MD program. So these activities that we'll be talking about are geared and aimed towards helping you get admitted into that major or that pre-med track that most students know of. The first one on our list is clinical exposure. Now this can come in the form of volunteering or actual internships. What it shows is that you've actually been up close and out of the whole bookish knowledge and theoretical world. You've seen the practical side of things, you know how the hospital setting works, and it shows that you have some amount of relevant clinical experience to showcase as you're stepping into the world of medicine. Now, moreover, they're not looking for those students that maybe have cured a disease or published significant amounts of research, but what they're hoping to see is that you know what you want and you understand the depth of knowledge that's in the field of medicine that you're going to step into. The second activity is science or health-related research. Now, this is important because admission officers really value your experience, especially academic experience outside of the classroom. And by gaining research skills, it shows that you know how academic research works. And it also shows that maybe in the future, you could be a valuable asset to the university's research facilities. Now, different ways to be involved with research include virtual research programs and even lab-based research. Now, obviously, lab-based research is more impactful and valuable because you're working in a physical facility under the guidance of possibly a professor or a supervisor. But as a high school student, these can get very difficult to get into. Um, high school students typically don't have access, both ethically as well as training-wise, to lab-based research. So virtual programs are typically your best bet. Now, some of the programs that I would recommend in this particular case is the International STEM Research Program, which is a one-on-one -on -one pro program where you do virtual qualitative research under the guidance of a mentor. And potentially take it towards publication. This is a selective program by Incognito Blueprints and you can apply for it using the link in the description below. The third one is community service and this basically involves you participating in your society to do things like vaccine runs, food donation drives, and volunteering in different aspects. Now, there isn't one specific template that you can follow because issues and needs for different people wherever they are in the world may look different. So this is making the best of what you see and how you can help those around you. Now, another program that I would recommend here to help facilitate this is the Profile Building Mentorship. Now, this includes three different research projects that you would potentially work on. There's a research project, a clinical project, and a nonprofit-based organization. The next one is science clubs and academic competitions. Now, although extracurricular activities sound like fun things that you should have on your profile, if you're seriously looking at getting into a good college, they really value academic-based or oriented activities more than others. And the best place to show this is through participating in science clubs, obviously, since you're applying for a pre-med degree. So any sort of like biology, chemistry, even physics-based science club would be perfect. And next, participating in things like Olympiads. Now, this shows that outside of your school examinations and rules, you're able to, to perform well in a rigorous environment where testing is required, something that you'll be doing a lot of if you're in the pre-med track. The last one are college summer programs. Now, the reason why this is last on my list is because of the cost associated with these. Now, these come in quite a different number of flavors. Some summer programs let you take courses on the college campus that you can get credit for later on. You can also do like these clinical-based programs where you get hands-on experience, or they're like these fast-paced accelerated programs for a week or two weeks where they actually invite the students on campus to participate in residential-based programs. 
Now, a few downsides to these programs is that they're very expensive. So a couple thousand dollars is what you're looking at. And in some cases, they're also limited to just domestic students or US citizens only. So if that's something that you want to consider, definitely go for it. But I wouldn't say it's a high priority. So these are some of the activities that you can aim at doing if your goal is to get into the top pre-med universities in the US, like the ones that you see on the screen with an ultimate goal to do an MD program later on. And hopefully this list was helpful. So if you're watching till this point, smash the like button, subscribe to the channel, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.